obviously exciting to be in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Um, there's only 32 teams playing right now, and we're one of them, so we're excited about the opportunity. Questions? What uh, What do you take from the first meeting with them? Well, I think the team the team that played them in that game, Eric, isn't the same team that's going to play them on Friday. I think we're in a different place now than we were then, and they're obviously in a different place as well. So I think our team are are looking forward to, to banishing the memory from that previous game. Is there anything specifically when you talk about you know what they are and what you know you guys can do against them uh, that you do you know you do get out of that you know even though it wasn't you know it was pretty one sided. Well, for, first of all, the experience of going there. I don't I don't know if you've ever been to Clockner Stadium, but it's, it's one of the kind of great places to play a college game. The crowd's right on top of you, great atmosphere. So that's taken away already. We've been there before. And you know they've got a really nice facility with with banners hanging all over the place, national championships and conference championships. So I, I don't think our team will be as maybe over overwhelmed this time with that. Was uh, I guess how have you talked about that game with your kids? I mean, have you talked a lot about it? Tried to avoid it? I mean, I could see it kind of a different couple different ways. It it doesn't matter. Um, Soccer is one of those sports that you got to play the game. It's ninety minutes. So we haven't talked about that game a lot. How do you come off that high from from you know Friday night when you, you beat South Carolina advance? How do you come down and, and get prepared without coming into this game you know with those th that same excitement? I think losing to losing to Virginia the way we did before is motivation enough, and that's why we haven't talked about it. They, they know, like our, our team know what they went through in that experience. Um, and I don't want them to come down. I want them to really enjoy the experience because it, it may be a long time before it happens again. Um, so I want our team to relish the opportunity, um, get excited about playing Virginia, and, and not, not be intimidated by playing Virginia. How much of an advantage is it knowing that, you know, with South Carolina, you, you hadn't played them in a few years. You had to prepare from zero for this game. You've played this team. You know what they're going to do, their tendencies. How much easier is it to prepare? Um, it's definitely easier to prepare, but what UVA do really well is, is they're a very, very good possession team. And in, in soccer, unlike many sports, you don't get the ball back, <laughs> you know. Um, you, you have to defend well, you have to press, and a team like Virginia, once they get in a rhythm, can be, can be difficult to get the ball off of. Um, so maybe we should start timeouts in soccer so we can kind of get the ball back. Um, but they're a good team. How have you improved since that 7-1 that defeat? Um, confidence. Um, you know, we've got different players playing in different positions than we had in that game. Uh, we're playing a different system now than we did then. Um, but, but ultimately, having some wins under our belt. In, in that previous game, John, we, we came off a really bad loss on the road on the Friday to App State. Uh, we were up 2-0 with 15 minutes left. And we had a tough, tough loss. We gave up three goals in 15 minutes. And, and we didn't drive to Charlottesville. We kind of trudged to, to Charlottesville. And, and we definitely were under a cloud playing that game. And, and UVA didn't have a game on the Friday. They hadn't played at all. They were completely fresh. That was their season opener. So they came out of guns ablazing and absolutely obliterated us. Yeah, what was that like? I mean, I, I look, I think that was your worst since in 20 years. That's your worst loss right there. They beat us to everything. I mean, they beat us before the game, they beat us in the warm ups, they beat us during the game. They just beat us. And they were so much better than us on the day. And again, no excuses, they were just better than us. But I think it's a different different scenario this time than it was last time. I love last week I asked you if you were playing with house money, and you said, no, we're, we're going in there to win this game, you know, possession, this, that, and the other. Do you change the mentality, or is it, do you go into that same mentality that if we do what we do well, we can compete? I think it's different. Um, the University of Virginia have been ranked first in the country several weeks this year. Uh, they're definitely one of the, the top teams in, in the country. You know, they have players on their team that are different than what we faced against South Carolina. So I think it is different. However, the mentality, we, we're trying to keep it the same, um, play the way we've been playing, um, try and get possession as much as we can. And we're going to have limited chances, and we have to take advantage of those chances. And today in training, that's something we're going to talk about, about taking advantage of the opportunities that we're given. We might get five chances in this game as opposed to 15 chances against South Carolina. Like uh, you said, you 
Virginia's history, you sort of know they're going to be somewhere up near the top. Why did you put that, you know, on the schedule when you did? I mean, you know, you, like you say, you talk about going to play App State and then them, you know, as a season starter for you. Looking back, I was a bit of an idiot to do that. <laughs> um, it, it just so happened we, we had a game against Wake Forest on that first weekend and then we were playing UVA on the Sunday. And then UVA were very upfront and said, we don't have a game on the Friday. So that's why we moved the Wake Forest game to later on in the year and we went up to App State um, to, to get two games on the road. Probably in retrospect, we should have said, let's play App State at a different point in the season and make that our first game too, but hindsight is twenty twenty. What specifically, when you talk about you know how you guys are different players and, and tactics-wise, and you can get a little more specific with that, you know, obviously give yeah. away your game. <clears throat> well, you know, against, we played Chapel Hill during preseason, and Chapel Hill play a 3-4-3, three, three, and it's, it's challenging to play against that, so we never really got settled. Against um, App State, they played a 4-3-3, and we, we kind of mix and matched in that game and never really settled. Well, we've had 19 games since then, and we've settled on a formation, we've settled on a system, we've settled on the personnel in that system. So that's really the biggest thing, Eric, is we were unsettled at that point, mm -hmm. and now we're more settled. We're confident in what our left back and right back can do. We're confident in what our centre backs can and cannot do. So maybe just be more settled with our system. Yeah, what, what are alignment have you guys been playing? 4-4-2. Four, four, okay, yeah. And UVA play a four four two as well. What can you say about how you're motivating your team? I know you've talked a little bit about it already, but is there a special message you give them at the early part of the week, getting ready, or is there a special message you give them going into the game, or, or how yeah, do you I think um, you know stay loose. Right. Um, I think a lot of teams get tight this time of year, and they tighten things up maybe in different ways than they haven't done before. Coaches tend to overreact and do things differently. So we're trying to keep a normal schedule, stay loose, and really less is more at this point in the season. You know, we're we're not going to train tomorrow. We're going to get on the road and travel up there and, and we'll do a little light session on Friday. So trying to keep it, I wouldn't say low key, but definitely more loose mentally. Just uh, what what does it do for the program to, to be, like you say, within that top 32? I mean, if you look at the rest of the field, um, I think the majority of the field, they're all from kind of Power 5 conferences. Um, there's, I think, um, Florida Gulf Coast, maybe, and South Alabama are, are two kind of mid-major schools. So I think it's great for the league, you know, for us and William & Mary and Hofstra to be playing in the second round. Um, it speaks volumes to the strength of our league this year. You know, I said this to the, the team after the game that people don't realize how strong our league was this year and that's why I was grateful that the teams did get into the tournament and, and three of the four won the first round games. Anything else? Uh, that's it for me. Coach, thank you.